Okay, hi everyone. So I thought I'd make a video because we're getting into winter. It's really cold in here. Right now it's like 72 degrees and last night it was 54 degrees in here. So literally like everything is freezing over. It's just horrible. It's actually fall according to Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is correct. But um, you know, it's, it's pretty cold still. Yeah, you know, I guess you could still swim in the water without getting chills when you get out. But, you know. So let's start on the right side of the greenhouse. Um, this is a side with some pretty big improvement. So let's start with the Vogelii, Vogelii, I don't know how to pronounce it because I haven't said it in like a year. Massive leaf right here, a massive leaf right here. This was the last pretty big leaf. It was a pretty big leaf jump, no apparent reason. Um, you can see there's the picture from it and it's looking much more, um, bird-like, I guess. I don't know. It was, yeah, okay, bye. The Nepenthes Singulana is looking pretty, um, has some cool like little I don't know it's bigger than the last one okay and here's the Nepenthes Jacqueline this is the newest picture you can see right there looking it's biffy oh and then it it made a really big leaf since the last one this is this last leaf and here's the leaf before it and as you can see it's very um, small the sphagnum's doing pretty well as always nice and red for the winter because um, red is pretty if we pan up here a tiny bit you can see that the seed pods on my Nepenthes ventricosa vitalingensis that we pollinated together in my last pollination tutorial, they're starting to swell. These ones, I, I don't know. These are the Ventrata ones. I don't know how those are going to do. They don't seem very swell, but you know, one or two may pull through. Oh, what? Darn it, there's an earthquake coming in 20 seconds. Lower than one. We probably won't feel it since it's in Japan. I get earthquake alerts on my phone. But uh, here, right here, you can see that, uh, oh, here it comes two seconds, you guys. That's gonna save our lives. That that earthquake thing usually sends me like a couple, maybe like four or five uh, little alerts once it's hit and it says zero seconds. It's pretty helpful. Oh, there we go. Zero seconds. It's popping up on the screen now. But as I was saying, this is uh, the flower stalk of my Nepenthes spathulata by spathulata by Potsciano, which goes that way. It's tangled mess and then it comes out right there. You can see there's a basil on there. And uh, this plant is actually male, which goes great because uh, all the way over here, we have that female from um, quite a while ago flowering again. This was my first Nepenthes flower um, that I got off from eBay. So uh, I came with the flower stock, but now this is like legit. I can say I legitimately did stuff to it. Still yet to produce a picture, but you know, YOLO. The Loia by Spectabilis is pretty hairy under the lid. Um, the parastome is much bigger than the last ones you can see. Kind of like a side by side shot. The Loei by Campanulata is doing pretty good too. I mean, it's like putting out a leaf. So it's not dead. Didn't kill it yet. Here's a fun one that's opening. This is Spathulata by Ovata. You can see this nice little peristome up there. Some straight. Here's one of, one of the last pictures. Green on this side, purple on this side. And if you didn't notice when I walked in, I pinned the Ventrata up because it was just a tangle mess and it was falling over and it really had no direction and it uh, hindered my ability to get back to that area where all of my crap plants are that I wish I would not have bought. Except the moss back there, I love you moss. Here's an Nepenthes ventricosa picture. Um, it's just the usual. Um, right here we have that two flower stalk little derp plant um it's growing i guess now this is nepenthes melvino um it came from leilani nepenthes i don't know i mean it's it looks like the spatulata by bots chiana by Botch, or something like that but one over there that has the flower and it's also male this one's also male including the one over there up there you know that one yeah um yeah well this is the, the little uh the second flower stalk and i'm too lazy to collect the pollen so, you know, we'll just have to go with it, see what happens, and yeah. Here's a nice close-up shot of the flowers. Pretty nice. Right here we have some dead ones. Lots of little cobwebs on those. See the little spaspinia pony? <laughs> I just noticed this. This one will be pretty cool when that picture inside that picture develops. This is Nepenthes pacificus, which is Insignis by Ventricosa, and I really like it because of the shape. Um, that's like number one. I really, really like Nepenthes Berkei, 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 and um, these look a lot like it. Not so much that one, but this one a lot. Um, it's producing some pictures over here too. It's, yeah. 
Here's that Nepenthes Ventricosa by Ventricosa by Trismodiensis or something like that. Let's take, check the tag. I'm gonna be accurate. Ventricosa by Ventricosa by Trismodiensis. So I was right. The leaves seem to be getting smaller and smaller, but um, it, it produced two little basils over in this general vicinity of the pot. And um, yeah, it's uh, doing good. Ah. Uh, Next thing. So here's one of my first Nepenthes, the Nepenthes Peter Diamato by Maxima. Um, this is its newest only picture. I don't know how it, yeah, this is its only picture and it's the newest one too. Um, yeah, it's, it's a plant. Oh, here's one. This is the something by Mira, Botsgiana by Mira. The leaves are getting super small. I've had this one. This was like one of my first ones. If you look way, way back, you'll see like a little plant update with it, I guess. It made a little basil over there, if you can see. Yeah, you can't see. Um, yep, it's a basil. Oh, and this guy, this is the Ventricosa by Dubia or Ventricosa. Yeah, Ventricosa by Dubia. I am right. Once again, the pictures are starting to get more like upperish. Like, I don't know if those are the uppers or what, but I mean, they're, they're pretty chill. Phone mouth seems to be getting wider and wider, and it's kind of nice. Okay, let's see, what else is there to talk about? Nothing, because my plant collection is literally so crappy, I don't even... Okay... Ooh! Back there, you can see my Burbagea by Edward Siana. Um, it's the pink one all the way back there, yeah, you can see it. Good enough. Up here, you may notice the shade cloth is still on. I'm gonna take that off in November. Oh, look, a little roach thing. Here's all the moss that I started like really a long time ago. Um, so like a year ago, I got all of that from that. And then, um, there's still more, but uh, then this is some stuff that I got um, later, like last November. So about a year ago, actually, then I got this stuff about two years ago. I lied, I'm a liar. I got this stuff last winter, so almost a year ago. Okay, here's some nice red moss that I got a while ago too. I don't want to even try anymore. Um, there's some other kinds of moss. Okay, there's my finger. There's some other kinds of moss and stuff. You can see some Saracenia popping up because it's like spring or something in like Alaska or wherever they grow. Down here we got some other moss cultures because, you know, just don't have space for them anywhere else. Um, those are pretty intense. Yeah, it's three different species, I think. And then that's a species over there. And so is that one. And down here we have more. Oh, this is just like a little massive whatever of moss. I, why do I even grow this stuff? There's some litter. I like to put the litter in there. Just pollute the environment. I'll probably commit suicide editing this because it's already like 15 minutes and I'm gonna try to edit it down to like three minutes because nobody wants to watch a 14 minute video about crap. So if you like the video and you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, then you should also like the video on YouTube by clicking that little like button in the lower left hand corner of the video, like not in the lower left hand corner of the video, but like below that. You know, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, bye.